Um, hope everything is going well for everybody. Just sitting here doing what we do once again. <coughs> Let me milk uh, and make sure that everything is cooking with Crisco on YouTube and, uh, and my other streaming platforms. Make sure everything is good. And it's always a pain in the butt to find it. But there it is. Nope. No thanks. Let's see. Let's see what we got. There it is. So, yep, seems to be working. We seem to be live. Awesome. Check D Live. We seem to be live on D Live as well. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And but oh, well, <coughs> excuse me, coughing the coughitis. Anyway, so I need to really stop doing YouTube if I'm gonna be streaming by myself and just do uh D live. What's up, Cross? That way, I can at least put some music and have everybody at least have something enjoyable while I'm inking because. That's kind of boring when it's just me talking about myself. Cross Comics is in the house, though. That always makes for some interesting <coughs> banter somewhere online. Welcome, Cross, man. Thanks for dropping by. It's been, uh, hope you've been having a wonderful New Year's. I see that you were, I saw on your videos you're working on the Canadian Shield. Putting in color and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. I hope everything is going well with that project. For me, you know, I'm just doing this, what I do. I was seriously debating about going live or not. Jumping on Tuesday. Nice. Awesome, dude. It's going to be launching on Tuesday. I'm going to add you as a mod for now. So if you wanted to drop your links. <clears throat> I mean, there's only a few people watching, so... Well, supposedly three people watching, but I think those two of those are me. I'm on uh, D Live and YouTube, making sure everything is streaming. So, but if you want, you know, to drop the links, hey, what's going on, Fictional Reality Arts? How you doing, buddy? He's another creator, CRX, if I'm not mistaken. I checked out his first book. I think the second one is coming out or already came out. So that's cool, very cool stuff. It's a lot of good people coming to check out. <laughs> Not much, man. Just chilling. Just chilling. The second one is out. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I try to keep up with everybody. It's hard, man. Um, keeping up with everybody, you know what I mean? There's so many people out, so many good people doing great things, you know. It's just so hard to keep up with everybody. You know, you don't want to slight nobody. You want to make sure everybody knows, you know, you're trying to keep up, trying to do good things, you know, so forth and so on. So I do my best. Do my best. So, <clears throat> in case anybody's wondering, I'm working on some David Yarden pencils. Both on Amazon. I feel you. Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year's to you, brother. Y'all got to excuse my cough, man. The cold weather uh, messes with my breath my breathability. So, it's not that I'm sick. It's just I can't deal with cold air. <laughs> cold air is my enemy. 
Hence my my dislike for the cold. Uh, you know. Oh shoot, man. That's good. I see that uh I see that pre-lunch is up. Sign up. There you go. And there you go, Cross. Cross doing a little promotion on his Indiegogo campaign that's about to go up soon. The pre-launch sign-up page. You put the link out there. Anybody catches the replay. Hey, Cross says, cold is my enemy, too. Yeah, man, I can't do it. <clears throat> I cannot do it. It's like, whoa. It just, like I said, it messes with the breathability. <clears throat> What's up, Bear? How you doing, bud? See, so, yeah, people are slowly filtering in. That's always a good thing. That's an amazing thing, amazing thing. We love it. <laughs> he says, I hate cold weather. He's from Chicago. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. The cold weather just be, ah. Uh. Hey, Shady Deed is in the house as well. There's a lot of people dropping by. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. I'm working on some David Yarden pencils. This is pages he put up um, when he tried out for DC. Um... These are the pages they gave him to ink. He put them on his deviant art. So I kind of borrowed them, you know, just for a little bit. So I could see, uh, so I could ink what the great David Yarden inked. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, this is Clip Studio. This is Clip Studio indeed. <laughs> I have Clip Studio <clears throat> Paint EX. This is what I have. That's that's the one. Man, it's been a while since I've been to watch these live. Thanks, uh, Z Collects. Thanks for dropping by. I need to get this ASAP. It's actually, uh, you can get it cheap. Uh, you you probably missed out on the Christmas sale, but you can get it like dirt cheap, like 50 bucks, and it's yours. Like no uh, monthly subscription, you know. Um, but if you do do the subscriptions, then you can put it on your iPad and all that stuff. Um, that's what I, cause I have it on my iPad as well. So, <clears throat> you know, but, uh, I like it. I think Clip Studio works pretty good, you know, and I, I enjoy it to be honest with you. You know, plus it does the camels. They have a 219 one too. Yeah. They have an expensive one. That's like the all out. That's like the all out, all out. That's if you like, you know, if if you're if if your life is is all about you know making books, then you know get it. <laughs> I say, especially if you're doing um like you're self publishing through Amazon, um, the Clip Studio has an option where it automatically uh. Well, Clip Studio has an, an option where you can automatically export straight to the Kindle format for Amazon. So I like it. It's got a nice little, it's got some nice little features. So if I mean if 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 you're the LLC, which I see is an LLC, um shoot. Then definitely get it because then you can you can claim it on your taxes as a business expense. 
Get some tax credit for buying the software you need. Can't hurt none. I mean, I would do the trial if they have the trial and see if that uh, works out for you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and if you like the trial version and it, it works out for you, then go ahead and, and get the paid version. You know, why not? Why not? Let me see. Hey, make sure no one's in the background trying to join in. Uh, nope. <coughs> I think everybody's still partying and doing all that good stuff. And uh, yeah. See, oh, Cross is dropping everybody's links. That's good stuff, man. Thanks, Cross. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I usually uh, people like Josh will jump in, or but it's been like I've been really thinking about not streaming till after the holidays because it's been hard to get people, you know. To, Join in and all that good stuff, you know, and do what they do, you know. <laughs> and to carry a show by yourself sometimes is, uh, you know, it's a little bit daunting. It's a tad bit daunting. Would I be? Sure, man. I would. I don't, why not? <laughs> yeah. Look, you know, you already got all my info. So if, if you want to hit me up on that, man, that would be awesome. I, I wouldn't mind at all giving it a shot. See if, if you like what I what I do. If if you enjoy what I do, man, and, and you think it'll work on your style, I'll be more than happy to give it a shot. You know? I always tell people I don't mind giving it a try. How it comes out, you know. That's, 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 no, no, you're great, Ara. All right, that sounds like a plan. You already know my info, so you know how to get a hold of me, you know, and, and you know, I'm, I'm usually pretty good at replying. I could use a little project. I wouldn't mind. Man, shoot. My man. <laughs> yeah, cool, 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 man. So I hope everybody had a, a, a wonderful New Year's. Um, I had a pretty quiet New Year's, you know, um, pretty quiet New Year's Eve. <coughs> you know, because... Uh, we're trying to keep very calm in the in the household over here because um you know <coughs> oh you saw the Star Wars film what you think about it see some people think it's bad but I didn't think it was that bad I thought it was okay considering the stuff that we've been getting lately I thought it was actually a pretty good film. I had no problems with it, to be honest with you. And just knowing the fact that it's the last one, it made it easy for me. Oh, he went to the Spanish club. Wow, a little bit of salsa, merengue, bachata, huh? Uh, I think so, Cross. I don't remember where, where he got the page from. Oh, control Z. Escape, escape. Let me see. I'll tell you in a second. Where he got the page from. Said this is an Inca tryout sample, use only not resale. It didn't say where he got it from. It was uh uh oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take so if you see on the title, it says um I don't let me make it bigger. Uh-oh. Da 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 da. If you see it, let me make the title bigger. If you see it, it just says Inker for Inker tryouts, simple use only, not for resale. Pencils by 
David Yardin, and then inks by uh, oh, uh, and oh Lord, have mercy! Why are you still using the picking tool? Don't use the picking tool. Inks by. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. I don't read DC Comics. I know people get mad at me about that, but all I know is that this is just a DC um, sheet for inking tryouts. So, you know, why not practice on a sheet for inking tryouts? Makes sense to me. In my mind, it makes sense. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, you know, but in my mind, in my mind, it makes sense. Just saying, just saying. So that's what I did. Forgive a Regan, forgive a Regan. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, basically, um, so I just, I try to find these online whenever I can. You know, and uh, and just practice. You know, I mean, uh, some people say I need to practice with less finished pencils. Some people say it's good to practice the way I'm doing it. You know, you get a lot of different opinions. But like I said, man, I can't get mad at it. Can't get can't get mad at it. I just continue to practice that I get good enough one day. You know what I mean? Where I can at least hold my own. Inker's life, man, is is it's 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 unloved. It's an unforgiven life. But it is what it is. Yeah, but I would have to, uh, hey, Sonny, how you doing? Happy 2020 to you as well. Thank you for coming. No, you know, and that's what I, and that's, that's exactly right. You know, oh, oh, oh man, I got a, I got my friend, my partner in draw, the man, the myth, the legend, Josh, Chris Arts. <laughs> Can you hear me at all? Do I sound okay? Yeah, you sound fine to me. All right, good. Yeah, you sound fine, man. Hey, what's up, bud? How was your How was your New Year's? I didn't do anything, you know. I didn't either. You know what? You know the situation. Yep. The wife is in is in a state where it, it's better just to sit home and relax. <laughs> Seems uh, we're about how many months? How many days in this month? Thirty one. Uh, I think so. Yeah, so we're about 40 days away. <laughs> it's getting close. It's getting really close. It's, it's exciting, exciting times. Exciting times. I ain't even mad. How's she doing? She's doing good, man. You know, um, you know, it's it's the last, it's the last stretch. So the so the baby's growing, you know, so yeah. <sighs> It's 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 getting there, it's getting there. Well, she's happy, she's happy, and anxious, you know, and all those emotions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm right there with you, man. Uh, I remember. So it's 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 really good, man. You know, ran into a former soldier of mine today. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, almost. I I run into people everywhere, dude. I was like, what in the world? I, I think I could I would be the worst criminal in the world because anywhere I go, someone recognizes me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I know you. I'm like, yeah, of course you know me. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric says, remember, Ezekiel, you're not just a tracer. That's correct. That's correct. I am not. But yeah, man. So <laughs> so that. Uh, you know that's what's going on on my side, just kind of, kind of on the chill mode. 
Yeah, I didn't mean to take so much time away, but I ended up getting uh, sick for a couple of days during the holidays, and so I just, Oof. yeah, I, and then the kids ended up getting sick for a day or two, and you know, so I just, uh, I just haven't had the will to, to 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 stream now. That's not saying I haven't done work on this. In fact, right. um, as you see, not only is the left head done, but now the right head's done. Right, and right, right. Actually, thanks to my lovely wife, because she was like, "Well, I want to play with the tab with the screen some more." So I turned it on, and she went to town, and she uh, she did the basic inks, and then I've just been going back through and and refining and and fixing boldings and making thicker and stuff. So you know, yeah, right. it's 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 been a um, family ordeal <clears throat> on this poster. I am mad at it, man. You know, it's so the thing is, once you got that big tablet. I knew things were going to pick up for you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, it's just funny that, that, that the wife is like, well, I'll, if you'll draw something, I will ink it. I'm like, okay, well, right now I'm working on this. So she's she's done all she wants to do. The other characters on here, she's like, they're – the lines are so little bitty. I don't want to. I don't want to ink it because I don't want to mess it up. And right. you know, it, it, there's so much fine detail with those characters. I really don't want to touch those. So if you'll draw something else, then I'll ink that. I'm like, well, I'm working on this right now. <laughs> right. And you know, you could always told her. You know, uh, you could have always opened up a different layer for her to do her thing. Oh no, that's what I did. Uh, I, I, this this is actually down here. It's called the Tory work. And this is I'm I'm re-inking on top of hers, uh, just re like like I said, fixing up some lines, and you know she did a good good job of going over everything I penciled. Right. And now I'm just going back through and rebolding what I think should be rebolded. I am mad, damn man. No, sure. it's like I said, it's it's it's, it's just funny. Well, you know, sometimes it's good, man. A family that draws together. I'm just kidding. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm you know she's sitting here working on it. And then uh, whenever I started working on it uh, to, to, to go back over the lines, you know, the son picks up the paper and pencil and he starts going to town on some stuff. So, you know, we, and we, we're still telling him, you know, if you focus on it and you get good enough, we'll, we'll get you a table at the con, let you sell your own stuff. Nice. <laughs> goals right there. All right, fictional reality artist. Thanks for coming, man. Appreciate you dropping by. Don't forget to hit me up about that thing, and uh, hope you have a blessed night, brother. Thanks, Sonny. <laughs> Definitely smash the like if y'all haven't smashed the likes. You know, we're just sitting here chilling, man. Like I said, I'm, I found that I found this one that I had finished this inks on on this David Yarden pencil, and I was like, oh, let me let me get hot and finish this, man. Cause this uh, is like, a have you watched The Witcher yet? I did watch The Witcher. And what would you think, brother? Honest opinion? Yeah. It might be very unpopular. Really? I didn't really dig it as much as I thought I would. I, maybe it was the hype surrounding it. Um, I, I just don't know. <laughs> it was a good series. The acting is good. Um, I just... I don't know. It seemed like it was they were slow rolling the heck out of it. And well, I'll, I'll I'll be honest with you though, they sped up. They did a, like two books worth in that amount of time. Really? Yep. It felt slow, man. It. I don't know. I don't. I guess it felt slow because I was expecting more, like more action. Which is what I was telling John. And John got mad at me because because he was like, "Well, you just don't understand." Uh, look, man, I'm just telling you what I felt. Like I, I never... watched it. I watched it nonstop. Yeah, no, I, I I benched through it, right? Because that what happens is I knew I was gonna be off this week, so I've been off the whole week, and uh, except for Monday. So the library has a Roku that they loan you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the Roku, they have Netflix and Voodoo and stuff like that, and whatever movies the library owns, you can watch on there for free. And then at the end of the week, you turn the Roku back into them and done deal. So I told my wife, hey, man, I really want to check out this Witcher series. Can you go to the library and uh, and see if they have one? And so they had one. And uh, so we checked it out. 
you know, check it out. And um, but I don't know. It just I don't know. It seemed it seemed kind of it's kind of I don't know. Maybe that maybe they were trying to do too much. I don't know. It just it felt to me like it was moving a little slow. And I didn't like the thing that I didn't like was was all the time jumps back and forth. You know, I was like, okay, I'm getting tired. I would have been I would have been happier because I was gonna binge it all the way through anyway. If you just would start it from the beginning and just build it up to the end. You know what I'm saying? Well, all right. So the Witcher series, the first like two books are nothing but the adventures of Geralt. Right. So all, all the parts you're seeing of Geralt was is not in the main story. See so the the part with Siri, the little girl, mm -hmm. that's the main story. That's where all the games are built upon. Right. So they the, they wanted you to see all these other amazing stories that Geralt did. That way you could uh, start to like his character more. But I already like the character. I thought, um, what's his name? Henry Cavill? Uh, Henry Cavill, yeah. Yeah. I thought he did an awesome job. I mean, he sounded just like the character from, from the freaking uh, video games. The mannerisms, the way he spoke, all that stuff. Sounded just like the video game to me, which made me happy. I thought he did an excellent job playing the character. I mean, and I think um, uh, Jennifer, that yeah, actress, did Jennifer. an amazing job. Yeah, I think that whoever the actress was, I think she did an amazing job playing that. I don't even, I have no problems. The actors were on point. As far as I could tell, I just felt like the story for me was kind of dragging. I was like, I can't, what the heck? But anyway, but that was just my opinion. That was just my opinion. You know. Well, season two be out the end of this year or the beginning of next year. And it should pick up. They are planning on a seven part, a seven series. Okay, a seven, uh, seven, seven series, like a seven, seven, seven seasons. Sorry, seven okay. seasons. I hope uh, you know. I, I'm pretty sure that the next season will pick up. I I kind of compare it to Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was a slow burner. You know what I'm saying? But it had great actors. Well, I'll say this too: it's hard to put all that information in eight episodes. Yeah. I it think that yeah, may have been too. Yeah, that was a pretty short season. Um, but I liked it. I mean, I overall, like it was a scale from one to ten, I give it like a 7.5. You know, it's not like the series sucked. It's just that I felt it was kind of eh, kind of slow, kind of uh, you know, I wanted more Geralt, I wanted more blood, less, less, less fruit, less, less uh um aesthetic. Um, women running around. <laughs> the only the only problem I had with it was who they cast for Trish Marigold. Okay, she's the witch that was uh, helping him with the uh, demon child. They had to keep out of the coffin all night. Yeah, yeah. She's supposed to be just this drop dead gorgeous redhead, right? Because you know Hollywood is killing all the redheads, right? I know, but she's supposed to be a drop dead gorgeous redhead. And whenever there's a time period where Yennefer and Geralt are not on talking terms, and Triss actually helps them with Siri for a long time. And him and Triss have a thing. Right. And uh, they they they've they they later on break it off on somewhat good terms, but um yeah, and Yennefer doesn't care who Geralt sleeps with. Right. But she did get mad about that. <laughs> in fact, in the game, um, towards the end, when Yennefer in, in Witcher 3, uh, Yennefer throws out one of the, the uh, mattresses. And Geralt's all like, what's happening? And, and his his commander's all like, oh, yeah, that's uh, that was your bed? <laughs> <laughs> and she's all and he finally is like, oh uh yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. I mean but no, I, I freaking loved it. I'm watching it again with my wife. Um, but she's kind of on the same way you are that the hype was maybe a little too much for it. And yeah, I think I think that's I think that's what did it for me because the hype was real. A lot of people were really looking forward to it. Um, I got a lot of a lot of people were like, yes, 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 you know. So I got really pumped up, you know what I mean? 
And then I was like, wait a minute. Um, yeah, it's a good show. Like I said, it's got a lot of strong points. I'm not, you know, but but anyway, go ahead. No, but yeah, it's it's you know, it's it, it they were they try to do a different way with it with the whole timelines because they really want you to go ahead and start uh understanding the connection between Siri and Geralt, because that's the most important part. I mean, right. But I got that already. The first two books, you don't even have to read them. You don't. I mean, the, the there's nothing. Uh, it's just his adventures with the dragon, his adventures with the the undead girl, um, and then uh, there's like, uh, well, okay. So the the girl in the very first episode, the ends up having to kill. Mm-hmm. That's Snow White. <laughs> For real? Mm-hmm. Snow White and her seven huntsmen. And huh. uh, he, he, the the writer took all the old old fairy tales, and and went with the Germanic type way, and dark and scary, and turned her into that. And then series mom and dad are Beauty and the Beast. That makes sense. So yeah, he, you know, he 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 tried to incorporate old folk tales into it, and um, I'm just hoping that if they if they stay as close to the to the book as they can, right? Whenever Geralt starts looking, when because Geralt's going to take Siri and train her, and okay, she's supposed to in the book series she becomes the very first female Witcher, but she doesn't go through the full process. Because right. she also has sorcery, so right. they were afraid of using the Witcher chemicals and altering her. Uh, but she does gain a, a Witcher ability, and she's very good with the sword. And uh, so she she grows a little bit while she's at Care Morgan, and uh, a lot of stuff happens, and you know, for actually ends up taking her away. And taking her to one of the schools for teaching sorcery. Right. And Geralt just goes, well, fine, screw it. And he goes out and he starts hunting monsters again. Well, uh, one of the dwarves that you met in the episode where they went hunting the dragon. Right. Uh, he turns into one of Geralt's good friends. Okay. And I forget his name. begins with a Z. He had the most talking points. Um. And he gives Geralt his next sword, which is a dwarven sword with runes built into it. And um, he also befriends a vampire, and the vampire goes on his adventures. So the monster hunter and the vampire, huh? Yep, the vampire uh, doesn't drink blood and actually saved uh, Dandelion, the bard. Oh yeah, the bard, the dude that yep. talks so much. <laughs> he's he's got he's got a big parts in the uh, in the books because Geralt doesn't call him Dandelion; he calls him Dandelion. Oh okay. But yeah, he's he's in the books for a long time, and like I said, there's just you know they were just trying to incorporate all the other old stories in this season, and then they're going to go full force because the whole series. The Siri thing, man, it, it goes deep because she she runs away, she joins a group of bandits, she becomes a gladiator by force, um, all while Geralt's trying to avoid the enemy army and trying to find her. The whole time he like uh, five books, he still can't find her. No, I'm glad he found her on this one because I would have been like, man, if they don't, if he doesn't find this chick. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of this season, this is a wash. Well, like I said, this this is all leading to her going to Kara Morgan. You know, I was like, this is, they better find her. Because all this drama, if this is like five seasons of him trying to find the chick, I'm going to be upset. Well, the next part, um, after, after she does her training and stuff and the whole separation, uh, she's on the run the entire time. Kind of figures, man. Everybody wants her. Yeah, it's because she's got a elder blood that is pretty much a god. And yeah. um, if she continues down one way uh, in the book series, they lead you to believe that she will 
practically destroy the entire world. Right. If not controlled. So yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to the books, but I don't know. I, 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 I'm slightly hoping that maybe the guys who do the video game series will decide to make another one because mm-hmm. they said that they're done. They're not making any more. Well, gonna, yeah, yeah, because they're going. They're doing cyberpunk. That's that's their new IP. Uh, well, we'll see. All I know is Witcher 3 is free on Game Pass, so I'm going to download it. <laughs> you know, I've owned it forever. I'm at the very end. There's seven endings to the game. Oh, Lord. Yep, seven endings. One one is where Siri becomes a Witcher. One is where she don't. One is where it come, she becomes the queen. Another one is where she doesn't. Uh, and there's a couple of different endings for Geralt as well. And depending on who you fancy... Uh, Triss or Yennefer, you you can end up with one of them. Uh-huh. I don't know. Yennefer is kind of a. Uh, you haven't seen got... Triss. You haven't seen Triss. No, no. I was gonna say Jennifer got issues, man. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if I want to deal with Jennifer, man. <laughs> you know, I just saying hi to Miranda because she came in and and we was talking and then get a chance to say hi to her. Um, she's saying hi to all of us. No, like that Yennefer character, boy, she got issues, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want anything dealing with that person. Well, <laughs> all she's trying to do is she's trying to undo what they took from her. Yeah, yeah, I noticed, but apparently the dragon told her she can't. Yeah, and that that pretty much ends the quest there. Like that that stops it. She and that's why she kind of clings to Siri. Whenever yeah, I kind of figured I kind of figured that's what it was leading to. Yeah, Siri, Siri she teaches Siri um how to use her magic abilities. Kind of figured that much because she was looking for a kid and oh boy, didn't really want a kid, but he's been looking for it because of that element of surprise or whatever. Yeah. Sur- law of surprise. And, surprise, yeah. And I then whenever that happened in the series, <laughs> I'm sorry, in the in the show, and he was just like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. He was like, man. And then when uh, dinner was leftover potatoes, pork, and sauerkraut, nice. And then when the, when the dude found him, and he said, "All I can give you is the law of surprise," and what do you know? It's the girl again. Yep. Of it all, he said, "Now nah, you know what? I can't deal with no more laws of surprise. Just give me some beer or ale, whatever they call it." Yeah, but I mean, like I said, overall, it was like you know, like I gave it like a, a seven and a half. You know, like I'm not, I'm not. Downing the show, it was a good show. It's just, I think the hype for me that they, the way people hyped it up, I was expecting like to be blown away. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can but, see. That. I just, it, for me though, from reading the books and, the, and playing the games, it was everything I wanted. But and and that's the, that's the thing I was gonna say, right? But for being a series based on a video game or books from video games or video games that came from books, those usually don't turn out too hot, you know? Right. So, so looking at it from that perspective, it's a smash hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because not a lot of shows that, that are except what made the walking dead, you know? Um, but like Netflix is trying to do it with what's that? Uh, the umbrella Academy. What's up, Evan Botev? How I you never, doing? Buddy? I never even watched that. Exactly. You see the point that I'm making? Yeah. You know, like comic books usually translate pretty good, um, but video games for some reason don't translate too good to the big. Too, well, that's not a big screen; it's a small screen because it's Netflix. But but you understand what I'm saying, right? But luckily, you know, they're not really doing anything with this with the video game. It, that is strictly the book. I mean, the only thing—that's took- what I kind of figured too. I was like, you know, that looks uh, that looks like it's more with the book than the video game. Yeah, the only thing really you could say was somewhat from the video game was the way that he looks. Yeah, they did a good job on. Like I said, took actors- two hours every day to to put on the makeup. The actors look good. I'm not gonna lie. I I think they have some really good quality actors. 
I, I, I was really impressed with that because like the Mandalorian, right? That's, that's the other shock, you know, that I, that I recently watched like uh, Kyle Weathers, the, the guy that used to that play Apollo Creed in Rocky. Mm -hmm. I think his acting is subpar in the Mandalorian. I, I just don't understand what he's doing. Like he's like Will Smith. He plays himself. You know, so so on he, that one, I'm like, eh, you know, I love Gina Carano. I think she she's amazing in the Mandalorian. But oh yeah, she was great. But her, even though she, I thought I give her all these kudos on the Mandalorian. It's like, nah, you know, you compare it to the acting that was happening on The Witcher, and you know, it kind of, you know, you know. But uh, what what I'm saying is, it, it just like the caliber of acting between the two shows. You know, night and day. Not so, not nah, not night and day, but you know, The Witcher had better quality actors. The Mandalorian to me was like a better show overall. But you know, like I said, usually shows that are based on books that are, or video games or whatever, they're not really that good. So I can't even get mad. And yeah, um, Maranya, yeah, he had to dehydrate himself uh, to 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 do those uh, open shirt scenes. Yep. Oh yeah, and he would con they would constantly have to repair his armor because his muscles were tearing apart his armor. Yeah, you have yeah. If you want to get that cut shredded look, you have to actually dehydrate yourself. That is a true statement <coughs> because water weight makes you fluffy. It's not that he's not fit, but when you know when you're drinking that amount of water, it it makes you fluffy. It doesn't you know, make you less muscular, but it makes you fluffy. The other thing that that really made me appreciate is how big of a fan he is of it. Yeah, I mean he he heard they were even you know the idea was even happening. He had his agents every day on the phone trying to get him the part. I think he did. A, like I said, to me, he sounded like the character from the video game. Like I couldn't. It was indistinguishable to me. I thought he did good. You know. Uh, Shoot, I thought I thought he did good. I thought he really did good. Now, you know, my, like I said, my problem was, um, I don't know. It was, I guess, maybe the show was a little overhyped, and and you know what happens when you overhype something, you know, it's good if it's not what, you, but it was hyped up to be in your mind. It kind of falls a little flat, you know. But uh, yeah, I can see where you see that, but yeah, for me, it was it was it it was everything I wanted. Yeah. Well, I'm with Tori though. Tori says what I saw, saw what I saw, and she's a gamer. I'm good. Well, she's that's so far just from the first episode. Uh, yeah, like tonight, she was like, "Let's watch some more." <laughs> so, oh, no, it's it's worth watching, definitely, man. Uh, like uh, we 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 binged it, you know, and, and we got it out the way quick because it was is short. I mean, the episodes were like I think an hour long, which is yep. kind of odd. Usually, it's like forty five minutes. He says, I try to sign up for mixers, but thing happened. <laughs> I'll worry about it, Devin. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I ain't mad at it. It's not like I like uh I think it sucks. It's just like I said, I was just I expected something else, I guess, from the video game plays and you know what I'm saying. It, it's just I expected something else, but it's all good. Like I said, the show is good. Give it about seven, seven, seven and a half out of ten. Um, but John is like super in love with it. Oh, same here, man. Like I said, for me, it's it's nine out of ten. Yeah, he's super in love with it. Called me a dummy because you know he's more red than I am and all that stuff. You know how John gets. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I love <laughs> I love the acting of the, the the action whenever it happened, uh, the dialogue. Uh, just the fact that they were able to take the time and incorporate the stories they did incorporate into it. And that was awesome. Yeah. No, no. It was, like I said, my wife has some issues with it. <laughs> Tell about it. I'll tell you about them later. <laughs> the, 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 the boobies. Yeah. You know, uh, in her state, you know, too much, too much of that. It's not good. That's why a lot of people had problems with it. You know. A lot of people had problems with the amount of nudity that was in it. And I was, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, going, "Well, then you never read the books, and you never played the game." Yeah, 
because Geralt goes to the whorehouses all the time in the games. Yeah, no, nah, you know, it's she was like, uh, too much, too much. But uh, really, it was only in the first two episodes, it was really there. Yeah, it, it kind of tapered off. But yeah. you know, I like like on that what's it, episode two, where he went into that alleyway and and killed all those guys. Yeah. <laughs> That was the best episode of me, man, because it was him fighting. I was like, yes, give me some action. Give me action. <laughs> Kill people. Kill them brutally. And I was happy. And then all the brutal action stopped. And I was like, oh. And I was like, disappointed. I want more well, brutal action. There was, there was a fight in the at the wedding. Yeah. But nobody really died, died. Brutally. Shoot. There must have been at least 20 guards that got killed. But and not like not you, like in the alleyway, man. Where the dude a few nobles got stabbed in the eye. Like, but yeah, like in the alleyway, he put the sword in the guy's mouth and cracked his head completely off, man. Like that's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted gratuitous violence. Uh, I see uh, well, you know, in, in like in the books and the stories. You know, he and even in the video game, I mean, you really try not to fight humans. I know, but he had no choice. But I loved all the stories where he was the, the monster hunting stories. Yeah. The street or whatever they call it was pretty cool storyline. Yep. I was like, okay, okay. I see you trying to outsmart. He did let that guy die, though, man. What's up, Pablo Romero Art? What's going on, brother? Oh, he he that's, that's, that dude died pretty gruesomely, though. Yeah, he, he deserved it. I was like, oh, I, yeah, I, I didn't, I did not, I do not disagree with that statement at all. At all. I thought it was like, yep, you got what you, 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 you got what you asked for, buddy. Did you ever play any of the games? A long time ago. Like, yeah. But I've, I definitely want to, like I said, I it, the the Witcher Three is on Game Pass. I already downloaded it, so I'm gonna try to play it again. It's been a while. Let's I've see. got all the DLC, and I have I've I haven't touched it yet. I was like, right, I'm gonna check it out for sure. You know, <clears throat> definitely want to check it out and see what I can do with it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Probably tomorrow. I'm, I'm off. And uh, the wife actually works. So I'm kind of like, I'll be chilling by my, I'll be chilling by myself. Yeah. You know, and that's, and that's a wonderful thing sometimes. That's a wonderful thing. I don't get mad about those things. Last week she was uh, she was off, and uh, she was rubbing it in. So <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's the funny part, right? I was supposed to be off last week too. I didn't realize that I had put in for vacation until I got a call from my HR saying, "Like, hey, you're supposed to be on vacation while you're working." I was like, "Oh," <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, oh." Oh, I, I just take next week off then. <laughs> so like, all right. I'm like, yeah, awesome, yeah. So that's that's what that's how this this happened. Cause I don't even I don't even pay attention, dude. I don't even pay attention. That's crazy. But tears with the tears, tears with the tears. Yeah, well, I mean, hopefully, I think I think your wife will like the series, though. I think she will. Well, she was like, "Okay, do we watch what The Witcher or Mandalorian?" I was like, "The Witcher." Yeah, I would have told her Mandalorian, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mandalorian was good, but I like, like I said, I like The Witcher better. Yeah, I like Mandalorian better, except for the last episode. They did a couple of things, I don't know, whatever. But uh. It's all good, though. What did you have problems with in the last episode? I didn't have too many problems. 
just um um you know the thing is everybody knows that when a tie fighter goes down it never explodes and nobody ever dies it just crashes and tumbles around <laughs> and then the guy pops out <laughs> like why did he not make sure the dude was dead but anyway i digress then he pulls out some i don't know if it's a lightsaber or yep. some dark saber he pulls out a daggone dark saber and cuts his way out of the ship and like oh lord have mercy do you so not know about the lightsaber? I didn't know that he was going to have one. Yeah, that's a Mandalorian lightsaber. Ah. Yeah, that's. did you never watch the Clone Wars cartoon series? No. Okay, that plays a huge part. Um, that's introduced whenever Obi-Wan goes to investigate um, problems with Mandalore. And uh, Death Watch is there. And... The leader of Death Watch uh, tells Obi Wan that you know he's going to kill him, and this is a duel in a sense, and whips out dark saber. And they had stolen it from the Jedi hundreds of years ago, whenever the Mandalorians had invaded Coruscant. And uh, that was they had to get special permission from George Lucas to make a black lightsaber. <laughs> He had at that time he still owned it, and they they shot the scene and you know they 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 drew out the scene and they showed it to him, and he loved it and he gave it an okay. So that's the reason we have a black lightsaber. Yeah, I was like, what, what the world? Yeah, it's an lightsaber. It's not the same length as a normal lightsaber, um, and in fact, um, so Death Watch had it, and then. Uh, when Darth Maul invades Mandalore, he gets it. And then um, it gets lost and it reappears in Star Wars Rebels uh, with the uh, the Mandalorians that are trying to fight against the Empire. Hmm. And it's a symbol of, of strength, meaning that the Mandalorians can rally behind this leader. So it's a huge important part to the the Star Wars universe. So Brian is going to be important for this series too. Heck yeah, because during that scene where on the final episode when he's he's getting pulled out of the uh, that little bunker thing, the little mm -hmm. sh shelter, the symbol that those guys have on them that's Death Watch. Ah, yep, that's the Mandalorians that later on. Uh, rebel against Mandalore and uh, cause civil war. Mm. Oh, you mean that symbol he, she gave him the signet? No, no. Well, that's one of them. So his signet's brand new. Like that's, that's not ever been seen before, but the yeah, signet, was, uh -huh. the signet that the, um, that, that, that um, Mandalorian that was pulling him out as a mm -hmm. kid, that signet with, that looks like a, a trident. Right. That's death watch. Ah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now, I think his signet is a mud horn, but I, I'm, you know, his signet was that rhino that he fought. Yeah, I figured it was the mud horn thingy, thingamajiggy. Yeah, yeah. So, what else did you have a problem with? Uh, <laughs> it was not a problem. It was like a for real type of deal, you know. Um, I think <laughs> I'm with Manny. I think. I think that when uh, the robot pulled his mask, his helmet off, I think it should have been a back shot instead of a face shot. You know why they did it? Why is that? That wasn't filmed originally. That was not in the show. They put that in there because of how many groups out there were hoping and praying and pleading that the Mandalorian was a woman. Uh, but there was a woman. They, there, there they was a reshot woman. that to say, no, he's a guy. But what about the the um, the Smith worker? What's her name? The she's a female. What did they, they want? They wanted, no, the, they, main wanted the, main, they wanted the main character to be a woman. But by the voice, they couldn't tell that it was a guy. They, because voice simulator. Oh lord! You, know, you, you can make anybody sound like anything. So yeah, that's what they were hoping. They were hoping that the Mandalorian himself, Mando, was a woman, and they were pleading to make the character a woman. So they reshot that scene. And just for that part to show, nope, it's a guy. 
<laughs> it's a dumb reason to do it, but I get it. That's but it is you know it's dumb that they even had to think about that. But that's why they they shot that scene. Yeah, that's that's a problem that I had, you know, because I was good with not knowing, you know, I, I I was good with the mystery behind not seeing the face, I, you know what I'm saying? I think the, whatever his name is, John, whatever his name is, I think he was just like, no, we're not dealing with this anymore. <laughs> John Favreau. Yeah, he's like, no, 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 it's a guy. We're we're gonna just debunk it right now. Right. Get it out of the way. Right. And just move on. Right. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, thanks, Elusive Man, for that lemon. Appreciate it. Yeah, because I'm... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Now we have people on DLive, and they donated a lemon, so I'm very happy about that. (laughs) Just saying thank you to the guy. Yeah, but... um. So, yeah, Yeah. myself, I'm with you guys. I was like, oh, man, you showed his face. And then after the episode, I was reading about some stuff, and they did that because of that. I was okay, like, oh, okay. That, I was that, like, I, you know, I don't sense. like it as a nerd, but I appreciate what you did there. Right, but 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 why? You don't. You you really didn't have to. You didn't have to. I like the mystery behind it. Even even my wife, when she saw the face, she was like, "Oh, for real? <laughs> like, yeah, for real?" Well, I, I think they just didn't want to deal with that crap. But you know, because there would have been more pressure, more pressure later on. Of make it a woman, make it a woman, make it a woman, and you know now it's it's canon. He's a guy. Right. There's no question it. There's no going back on it. It's a guy. And Miranda saying, "Remember Bosk from Return of the Jedi? They had a male voice for it. Then later reveal it was Leia in a custom voice similar has oh. precedent." Lapal, <laughs> lapal. No, I get that. I get that, but. The credits say Pedro Pascal was the actor. They didn't care. They didn't <laughs> care, dude. I could not believe. How, I mean, I wasn't even looking for these articles, dude. I was just on Google News and it was just yeah. popping up like crazy. I was like, this is ridiculous. It's a guy. We know who it is. He's an IMDB. It says who it is. We've right. got no problem with it. You know, and he's he's doing justice to the character. I'm loving it. But apparently there was enough groups out there. You know, the same groups that want to turn Elsa lesbian. They want to make sure that, you know, certain things happen the way they want to in Disney World. And, you know, I'm just like, okay, I give John, John, whatever his name is, more credit because he doesn't want to deal with that. He just wants to make a good show. Yep. John Favreau, man. Yep. I mean, remember yep. before Disney took over Iron Man, Iron Man was Iron Man. You know, John Favreau put all that stuff in there, the strip yeah. bowl and, you know, uh, John don't care. He he tries to stay true to the source material. He's a big nerd when it comes to this type of stuff. You know, mm-hmm. he, he is true to everything that he does with this. He wants to make it where everyone will enjoy it. And I think that's why I'm, he just was like, I'm not dealing with this crap. We don't have time for this. Make right. it a guy, show the face one time. Oh man, uh, Miranda says, but yeah, I'm glad they made the Mandalorian male. I'm, I mean, there was plenty of representation if that's what you're looking for. I mean, I mean, Gina Carano, man, wrong. They're, they're gonna you look know? at it and just be like, it's still, it could still possibly be a girl. You'd be a girl. Look, I, it's not. And I don't know, you know, so yeah, I did. I did it, did it kind of take away the mystery? Yeah. Did it take away Baby Yoda? No. And that's what the show is all about, is Baby Yoda. It is. It is. But, <laughs> you know, like I said, it, it. I wanted it to be like, I don't mind if they took the helmet off and, and you know, the guy saves the Mandalorian and he puts the helmet back on. We get the mystery, you know. I get the reason why they showed the face. as a little fan service, you know. You know whatever. I, I get all of that. But I, I was just, I was like, he's the Mandalorian. We don't see his face. We don't, and we don't need to see his face. You know what I'm saying? We just, we're cool with it. I mean, we we can look him up online. <laughs> Pedro Pascal, what does he look like? Oh yeah, he was on the he was on the Kingsman. He was the bad guy with the with a rope. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we knew who Django looked like. Exactly. Let's see. And Pablo so Romero we said, "We would know what Bubba looks like." Yeah. Pablo says they could still uh, say that it's a gender fluid or some stupid stuff like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm not going to argue with that because anything can happen. He, transgender, whatever. But, you know, the fact remains they showed his face. It's a dude. And it, it just it works. It makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. Ryan just says, I'm tired of the perpetually offended, wanting everything to be. We don't need no man. Where men are evil bull. That's right. Men are not evil. At least not all of us. Some of us are pretty good. And this is the way. <laughs> and this is the way. I have spoken. Uh, <laughs> I have spoken. <laughs> truly wish Fabro had done Iron Man 3. He did so well with the first two. I know Fabro did amazing. Yeah, Iron Man 3 was garbage. He did amazing with, with the Iron Man series. He he I'm telling you, between Fabro and uh and Tony Stark, uh, excuse me, and uh I call him Tony Stark because he is basically Iron Man. Robert um, Jr. IDJ, Robert Downey Jr. That was that was a magical pairing for Marvel and Paramount. I think it was Paramount before Disney took it over. For Paramount and for Marvel, it was it was amazing. You can't even get mad at it. You know what I mean? I was mad at it. <laughs> You're always mad though. <laughs> well, it's only because of the last line of the whole Dagon movie. Oh, yeah, which one was that? I am Iron Man. <laughs> what you don't like about that? Ruined it. Ruined it for me. 30 years of him hiding who he was and telling everyone that, the, that, that there's another guy inside the suit. It just takes away the whole superhero secret identity. So yeah. from then on, MCU has no secret identities. No, they don't. And that ruined it for me. I love the idea that not all the heroes know who each other are. They work right. and play well together. But, you know, uh, Spider-Man didn't, you know, show Tony Stark who he was right off the bat. You know, the, the Captain America, you know, only really, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. knew who he was. Right. Heck, in, in the uh, Ultimate series of the comics, they, they were still the Avengers. and They still had no idea Tony Stark was Iron Man until finally something happened and he had to come out of the suit. <laughs> You know, so there's just the whole idea of secret identity doesn't exist in the MCU, and that's my only beef with the MCU, really. Is well, here's the thing with the MCU, that. and and the way I look at it is this: these actors get they they get paid way too much money for people not to see their faces. <laughs> like <laughs> that's the well, only well, thing. Fine, but you know, in the scenes where they're together, you know, in the whole I am Iron Man thing, you know, we could have had a whole other movie or two movies. Of him having to live a double life. Right. And that's funny, you know, him having the stress over everything that's going on and having to deal with that. You know, that's why the Spider Man movies did so well for a long time was the whole double life thing. Right. Well, you know, that's that's true. That's true. Let's see. Uh, Karate Kid is in the house saying, What up from Mixer? Thanks for joining us in Mixer, Karate Kid. Great. Thanks for joining us. We just see you here chilling, talking. You know, drawing and whatnot. I can say that as a 40-year fan of Iron Man. Let's see. Oh, I was mad at first, but it freed up more storylines in the end. And I can say that as a 40-plus year fan of Iron Man. Look, I think with, with, with all that to me is this. You know, I, I wasn't so mad at the MCU because I looked at it as a whole different animal than, than the comic books. You know, I, I you know, it's, it's like The Witcher. Like, I, I have to look at it like a different animal. <clears throat> Because, you know, except for maybe Iron Man 1 at the end where he says, I am Iron Man. John Favreau did an, did an outstanding job, you know, with, with, with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, like, a lot of the storylines are mixed up. Like, they did Thor, Right, and Rock, and Planet Hulk on the same movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They were condensing and, and they were playing around and they had matchups that make that did not really happen in the comics, but... It kind of worked in the in the MCU, you know. Um, I could see why they wouldn't do Planet Hulk because you know that that there's a lot more characters involved with that, and a lot more issues that they never even brought to the table. Yeah. So standalone may have been a little difficult. Yeah, I mean, right. Ragnarok was it was funny, but yeah. you know it wasn't one of my tops. I think it was the best Thor movie. No, I'll give you that. Besides, eh, I like the first one. I, I'll go back. I like the first one a lot. Uh, the first Thor? Yeah. The second Thor was garbage. Dark World? Yeah. Yeah, Dark World was not that good to me. Yeah, no, it, 
wasn't that good. I mean, it was necessary, I guess, kind of like Star Wars Episode Two, but you know, it's it it it, it wasn't it. And for me, Iron Man Two was the best one. It, that one was the only one that felt like a, a comic book movie. Um, I hated Iron Man three. Uh, I won't even buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't watch it. It's not ever going to be added to my collection ever. Um, but Iron Man one, yeah, I saw it several times in theaters um, with several different people, and still, it just always irked me just because a whole secret identity was ruined for the rest of the MCU. Right. I just like that. I've always liked the idea. You know, that's that's why they they had the Civil War. You know, Captain didn't didn't want people to have to reveal and ident you know to show who they were to everybody, let right. alone even just the Shield. You know, it was okay to have secret identity to have a separate life. And they didn't even get that right with the uh, Civil with War. The Civil War, movie, yeah. You know, it was still a good movie, but you know, it wasn't what we all know from the comics. Yeah. Uh, Miranda says, I was also like, no one could ever play Tony Stark, Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. changed my mind completely. I think he was the perfect guy for the perfect at the perfect time. Because I told y'all that was thinking about bringing Doogie Hauser in Ugh. to play Spy uh, to play Spider Man to play Iron Man. Uh, wait, Neil Patrick Harrison? Yeah. Oh wow. That that he was in contention for it, or he was thinking about it, and I don't. I just don't see it. I was like, what? No. He's a good actor. I enjoy his stuff, especially that um, How I Met Your Mother series. Oh my god, mm -hmm. that was one of my favorite TV shows. <laughs> I know he's a great actor. Um, I just don't see him Tony Stark. No, I mean, you know, now it's too late, and I'm never going to argue that he was not the best pick. I mean, he definitely was. There's no doubt ever that he was the best pick. I just, just like I said, just this the superhero persona. You know, Batman, no one knows who he is. You know, they, 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 every, you know, they, for every movie, someone finds out who he is, but, you know, they explain why. But, you know, it's the whole idea not the whole world knows that he's Iron Man, you know, that he's Batman, you know? Right. No, I get it. I get it. I totally get it, man. I totally get it. Yep. And you're right. You know, and the whole, um, they changed the whole dynamics between Spider-Man and Tony Stark for the movies as well, you know. But I, I'm not even mad at that either, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, I can. Well, I mean, I, I hate home homecoming. God, I hate homecoming. Oh yeah, dude. I, yeah, hate homecoming. I told my wife, you know, that every Christmas, don't buy me homecoming. I don't want that movie. Why is that? I hated what they did with Michael Keaton. I think Disney wouldn't did not let him have you know control of how his acting was because he is a great actor. You know, if you if you ever saw the movie Birdman, holy crap! Yeah, I saw Birdman and Beatles. dude, I saw Birdman, then I saw him as Vulture, and I was like, uh, I've already seen you as a bird person. You're insane. This movie's not doing you justice. And I just didn't care for the whole love story. It didn't feel unique. And the girl who plays Mary Jane Watson, who they promised was not Mary Jane, who became Mary Jane, looked like she physically smelled. And I just <laughs> I couldn't get... I, she's a great actress. I'm not saying anything against her. It's just how they portrayed her in the movie. She looked like she stunk. And I was just like, oh my gosh, so she's supposed to be this drop dead gorgeous girl. I don't care about skin color, whatever. Right. I don't care about that, you know. But she's supposed to be this gorgeous girl, and she looked like she needed to take a shower the whole movie. Right. Um, and I, I, I just like, yeah, it just the whole Tony Stark thing, how they were introducing him to it. I just didn't care for it. I thought the movie was just lacklustering in every aspect. And, you know, my son, he was, what, five when it came out? Mm -hmm. A huge Spider-Man fan and said, Daddy, can we go home? <laughs> Bored out of his mind. Kid will sit through anything. And wanted to go home. Was not enjoying himself. He yeah. sat through Civil War when he was four. And loved it. Loved it. Was awake the whole time. 
you know, and then we then here we are with Spider Man Homecoming, and he was just done bored. And then my wife looks at me and goes, "Yeah, like, are you enjoying this? Because I'm not." And my wife is not one to complain about a movie, right? And she was ready to go too. <laughs> and she was a huge fan <laughs> of the um, Amazing Spider Man with Andrew Garfield. Mm-hmm. She loved those. I mean, I liked some parts of it. They they weren't my favorites, but she was a huge fan of those, and she was not liking Homecoming either. Mm. Now I've got whatever the newest one is, and I haven't watched it yet. I plan on it, but right. uh, Far From Home. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, and you know, but because of Homecoming, you know, I'm not excited to see it. Right, right. But I mean, Ryan says, uh, "Oh, go ahead." Go ahead, bud. I'm just ranting. Uh, Miranda says, actually, the Stark spider relationship does go back to the original Civil War in the books. A Stark apparently was Peter's mentor. Hmm. For a time, Tony Stark got his arm A killed because everybody's identity was revealed. But I digress. Uh, kind of local sports, which is my brother, saying thumbs up on my work for bro. Had to swing by, though, saying hello to everybody. That's awesome you. I'm glad everybody's enjoying themselves and being happy. Even Manny's in the house, I forgot to say. Manny Correa, the creator of the Unbreathable Skunk Girl, is in the heezy. Nicey. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro, man. It's all good things, man. No, but I get it. I get it. I just, I do like uh, Tom Holland as Spider-Man, though. That's the... Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying his acting with the character. I'm enjoying what he's doing. It's just the writing. I'm not saying anything gets acting wise with these characters. Not at all. Every single one of these people bring their A game to the table, and I've enjoyed their acting besides what they did with Michael Keaton. That was the only one. But you know, like I said, he's not a main character. He was a villain. Right. Like I said, I had it, I had been ruined with the whole Birdman movie, and I was like, man, Michael Keaton, I never realized how uh, amazing, like just dark of an actor he could be. And I, I never thought I would ever like that movie. And I fell in love with that movie. And then, yeah, then I see him as a vulture. And I was like, oh, Disney, you didn't let him actually do anything, did you? You just told him, go stand here, read this line. <laughs> For me, there wasn't any energy from him. Yeah, that seems to be a, a re- recurring thing with them, right? Because there's a couple of characters that they kind of killed like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, most of their, their B, you know, their B characters, they, they just really don't, I don't know, they, they get some really good actors, but they just, they don't let them shine. But, oh, well, I'm not paying them. Yeah, we, we don't pay them. I don't pay anybody. I'm broke. <laughs> You're about, about to be broke. I'm about to be broke. <laughs> You're right about that. I'm about to be. Super broke. Super. Let's see. Manny helped me bust my butt sketching last year. No lie. He inspired me with Inktober. And one day I ended up doing 553 sketches in 2019. Seven sketchbooks. Seven nice sketches in each book. Nice man, awesome. I, I'm glad that many actually inspired somebody. Wow, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We all love many, he's uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, he's a good guy. And Manny Correa, make sure nobody's trying to join in the. <coughs> In the green room, everything's clear, everything is beautiful, life's great. All right, man. Back to back back to sketching and watching. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, excuse me. So did you, did you ever get that phone app to work for you? Uh which one? Yeah, it worked. Uh, I, I made the mistake when I hit the uh screen when I was doing the screen recording. I'm the one that forgot to unmute myself on the phone, but it uh, works. It works. Um, 
I have to take the phone out of my case to use an adapter to hook up the Xbox One X, uh, the um, Elite controller to it. Yeah. But it works. You know, the problem is it is small. Yeah, dude, you would, I would, I, I would die. My eyes would just kill me. I wouldn't be able to drive for like four hours because my eyes would just screw up so bad. But with that being said, if you were ever in a pinch, like you was visiting family and you didn't want to bring your whole Xbox with you and you was had a little bit of downtime, you could definitely kill it with that. That's when you just bring the Switch. <laughs> I got that too. <laughs> oh, play, play some Pokemon. You know, it's funny because I took it um, when I went to see the family in Cali, not my, you know, my my in laws. Uh huh. And uh, I wound up loaning it to my nephews. <laughs> you know, there was playing Legend of Zelda left and right. I was like, well, <laughs> well, there's that. No, no uh, Pokemon for you, huh? Yeah, they, they were all Legend of Zelda and NBA something 2K19. Because they had their own, but like only they only had one. So one of my nephews was playing, and the other one was just watching the other one play. So I was like, here, man, I'll loan you mine. So you can both just be chilling, you know. Instead of one, you know, because they was fighting over who was going to play next. Right. <laughs> I was like, man, here. I'm here visiting. I don't need to be playing anyway. Shh. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, I play on my phone. But no, it works. It works. But I don't know. I just don't see me carrying an Elite controller around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I got it, man. I mean, that, that's Because it I'm only just, works with I'm Xbox. Sure. The, this particular service, it's an Xbox streaming service. And it only works with Xbox controllers now from, from what I can tell. Because they wouldn't work any other way until I actually... Physically connected the X, the Elite controller into the phone. That's the only that's the only way it worked. I was just more shocked that you had Arc playing. I was trying to because there's not that many games on the streaming service, right? So I picked one that I already had an account in, and you know, to see what I could do with it. But I couldn't figure out how to log into that stupid thing. So I was like, I give up. So then I did uh, well, Halo. You're trying to log into the same one we played on. The password changed. Okay. Then I played Halo for a little bit, um, like a brief second. You saw that. Yeah. And then I, I called it a day. And it, it had some other games on it. What other games did it have? It, um, it's got a nice little library, you know, for mobile. I'm not saying, hey, like, oh my God, it's the greatest thing in the world. Uh, what I heard from um, from from people that have tested it that it's not the best service right now, and they got a lot of problems with it. Yeah, I mean, the for the little time that I, but that's what it is right now. All it is is a test, is a beta. Right. So it's it, right right now. The app is called Game Streaming Preview, right? So right. definitely a preview, right? So what they got? They got Arc, Halo Five. A game called Absolver, uh, Ace Combat, Battle Chasers, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, you know, Borderlands 2, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Brothers, Conan Exiles, Crackdown 3, Darksiders 3, Days, uh, Dead by Daylight, Dead Island, Devil May Cry 5, Dirt Rally. I'm surprised they have Conan on there. Yeah, they got Farming Simulator Felix the Reaper, Fishing Sim World for the King, Force of Four, Force of Horizon Four, excuse me, Gears Five, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Halo Wars Two, Hellblade. Which, if anybody ever played that game, that game is a mind trip. Please, I, I don't even know why I even finished it. I was like, man, this game is, is creepy as all get out. It was really good though. It's, but that's why I finished it. But it was creepy, dude. <laughs> it was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with headphones on, you're like, "Oh my goodness!" Oh, God, no, 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 I don't play games like that. No, 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 no. No, you that this game with headphones on, if you're mentally weak, will drive you insane. Hitman is on here. Just Cause Four, Killer Instinct, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Madden NFL Twenty, Mark of the Ninja Remastered, 
uh, MotoGP 19, Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, Ori and the Blind Forest, Overcooked, Puyo Puyo Champions, Rad, Record, which I like that game, Sea of Thieves is on here, Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, um, Shadow Warrior 2, Sniper Elite 4, which, you know what, I don't own it, so I wouldn't mind trying it out, Soul Calibur uh, 6. Sniper Elite 4 was good. Uh, State of DK two. Hey, no, like seriously, that. that's on Game Pass still. Yeah, no, this is this is on the preview for the phone. I know what like, I'm saying. That's on Game Pass right now. Is it? Yes. And if you want to play that game, I will hop on there with you in a heartbeat. Okay, I'll check it out. Definitely. Let's see. Tales of Vesperia, Tekken Seven, Terra. Anyway, enough to say that it's got a it's got Warhammer Vermintide two. Uh, World of Final Fantasy Maxima, World of Tanks, World of Warships, World War Z, <laughs> Wreckfest, WWE 2K20, Yoku's Island Express. Ugh, don't play that. No, don't play WWE. No, uh, WWE sucks, man. I, I, I don't like the way it, I don't like the gameplay and the controls. Now, this last one, they had so many bugs. But anyway, that's all on Game Pass to play on the phone. <laughs> like, that's a lot of games that you can play on your phone. Halo 5, I didn't have any issues with it. I mean, the graphics were dumbed down, of course, yeah. for bandwidth purposes, but it was still... I mean, you saw the gameplay. It was still good enough. It was still Halo-ish, you know what I mean? I didn't watch your gameplay. Anyway, what I digress then. It was still good enough <laughs> for Halo. <laughs> that wasn't that much gameplay. It was like a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes max, just me trying to figure it out. That was all on the phone, using screen record on the phone, you know. So there's that. There's that. But yeah, that's that's that wasn't a bad thing. I was like, oh yeah, I can I can dig it. You know, I give it a shot. One, one day I'm gonna get you back in the arc. Yeah, I mean, one day I gotta start playing video games again. <laughs> well, I can't help you with that. And then I gotta start playing video games again when that happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I, I'm still playing it. Yeah, God Thought Press says you're too kind, Maranya. Maranya is a sweetheart. What are you talking about, Good Thought Press? <laughs> yeah. Don't waste your time, says Manny. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm just right now, my, my focus, my focus is on, you know, <laughs> baby. Yep. And, and making sure the spouse is good and stuff like that. So, I mean, I played a little bit of destiny the other day, you know, cause the, the guys, they, they were like, Oh man, let's hop on. I'm like, all right. But, uh, and were like, you playing World oh, of Warcraft the other day too? I, I logged in for like a half a minute because my brother was playing, but then he was raiding, and I was like, "Man, I don't like playing this game by myself. It's boring as heck." I'm sorry for those World of Warcraft fans. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't. I don't really enjoy it like a lot of people do. I enjoy playing it with my brother because he's funny, to, you know, and whatnot. But. Yeah, Pablo says, uh, <clears throat> I've been trying to beat Final Fight on Sega CD. <laughs> wow. There you go. And Mariah says, she is serious, Manny. I'm serious, Manny. I got my list of things to sketch prompt-wise. Manny says, in his wife's Portuguese voice, each minute in front of the video game machine is minutes of your life fading away. Well, that's just in front of any electronic device. Look, man, don't don't say that because I'm in front of an electronic device right now. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> same thing as reading a book or watching TV. Someone popped into the into the game into the green room, and it's good dog prayers. Because I'm serious about video games; they waste away your life. <laughs> Dude, how much how much damn comic books would I have done if I didn't get into the damn video game life? Dude, it's it's kind of sad when I think about it. 
how much hours, how much days, not hours, how much days total did I play Call of Duty? I can never get those days back. <laughs> you know what? That was your mistake. You played Call of Duty. <laughs> Dude, I played everything. I mean, my achievements are so freaking high. It's not even funny. Uh-oh. Now, you, now you're going to get Josh. Nobody. Now you're going to get Josh. You know, Josh is sensitive about the achievement thing, man. Dude, I, I, have not, I have not played video games in – it's now – four and a half years i bought an xbox one to to for the hell of it this christmas i was gonna use it just to play 4k movies and let my son play whatever if he wants to play and i and i got caught up in and i tried playing that uh that new jedi game mm -hmm. and I'm like, it's such a, such a good game it's not Yes, it's it not. Is. I'm sorry. I played way better games before. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's mediocre at best. I do not like the fighting mechanics. The fighting well, mechanics yeah, and the it, graphics on that is not very good. You never played Death so Dark Souls, did you? I did. You did? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a watered down version of Dark Souls. It's not as good as Dark Souls, yeah. but. Yeah. I mean, I played all the Prince of Persia. I played all the Assassin Creeds. I played whatever's. I mean, that was my thing. God of War. I mean, all those games are far superior. I mean, the Force Unleashed was was even better playing playability <laughs> than this game. Uh, ooh, you know? um, so speaking of which, uh, Manny's right. I will stop watching the stream now and go outside. Someone says, I know someone <clears throat> who played games to 4 a.m. last night. Yeah, I did. And then I, I thought to myself, what the hell am I doing? This is stupid. I got away from playing these damn crap. And then, yeah, that's what I did today, honey. Uh, <laughs> and then Mariah says, Manny, don't be the one skunk girl's going to get the chancla on you. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I was back in here listening to you guys playing my guitar, cranking it up, cranking it damn, cranking the freaking amplifier up. That's for sure. Oh, Lord. Got me a new amplifier the other day. It's a big one. That's for sure. It's a big one. Yeah, it's it's not like those little combo amps. This is a real full full amp with a with a cab and everything. Yeah, it, it's nice. huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's a it's a hundred watt. What the hell do you need a hundred watt for? Because you're Manny, <laughs> dude. A twenty watt is loud. I know, but I, you're I, Manny. I am not playing it on the hundred watt setting. That's for sure. I put it on the fifty watt setting. Like hell with that. You're many. You're old, and your hearing is gone. So you need you need something with a lot more of. Dude, freaking shake the damn windows. <laughs> but the anyway. price was right. the price was right. It's a freaking Marshall head. The price was right. I'm like, I need it. I I want to sound like ACDC. I need a Marshall. Actually, right. if you want to sound like any '70s rock, rock star, rock whatever, you gotta gotta play with a Marshall. Got it, Unless got you it. want to be a Beatles and play with Fox. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. But everybody's saying hi to the Unbreathable Skunk Girl. Yeah, they say hello to Unbreathable and Skunk Girl. Hello, honey. I made your I made your dip. Came out very good. When you dip, I dip we dip. Yeah, we huh? well. She was craving for a dip and I made it today. That's good. Did you I, you did not spread the dip on the cake this time, did you? No. Okay, because we know about that. Which is amazing stuff. I love chicken and biscuit. My wife doesn't. She tells me that's bad for me. I know it's bad for me, but it's good. I want to get Manny's gamer tag now. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't know what Manny's uh, gamer tag is. There are there there's chip no chips. Dip. I don't got <laughs> chips. <laughs> she said, "Why you make dip no chips?" Well, I got chips. I got those Pringle-like chips, but it, it actually tasted better on a on a Ritz cracker or on chicken and a biscuit. It tastes way better. She says she wants chips. You better get. You better figure it out. Then she gonna get her own chips at the damn door. <laughs> You gonna get cussed out <laughs> when she get home, <laughs> and I'm gonna be sitting on. I'm gonna be sitting in the back, part just listening. <laughs> you gonna be egging it on. <laughs> Hi, Josh. How you doing there, buddy? I'm good. 
<laughs> quiet all of a sudden. Uh, to I'll, me. Got, went up and got me another beer. Got you a beer. Got me a beer. Got you a beer. Say I could get my dip over there, and you can have some beer and dip and whatever. Or are you doing? Don't be yep. giving away Skunky's dip. <laughs> I can make more. <laughs> Skunky's oh. dip. It's lomi salmon and cream cheese. Ugh. Oh, it's good. Now you can say it's good all you want. I'm not clipping my heels together and going home. That's that sounds good. <laughs> it's it's. I mean, it's it's lomi salmon is uh what you call it a. Uh, it's salmon. It's kind of like smoked salmon. Smoked it's the cream cheese part. The what? The cream cheese? Yeah, no. Ugh. Yeah, there's tomatoes and onions and. All right, you've still lost me. Just quit. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Manny eats weird stuff, bro. Just yeah. you gotta I understand that. I you gotta understand food. that and just love Manny for Manny. I love that's Manny. That's all you gotta do. See, look, Maranya's are green. Maranya is awesome. <laughs> Moran, will put that on Melba toast. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Oh, they finally fired Jason Garrett. Jeez, Louise, about time. Jason Garrett. What? Yeah, the coach for the Dallas Cowboys, man. Oh yeah, good. I saw you post something about that. They and then they. Fire him. They was like, oh no, 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 we're gonna yeah. keep him. And now they're finally gonna fire him. I was like, dude, come on. We've been getting our bus whipped for 20 years with this dude's been the head coach for 10 years. And that guy sucks. Maranya's team, on the other hand, they made some nice moves, man. They got Riverboat Ron as the new head coach. Jack Del Rio is a defensive coordinator. I'm telling you, man, the Redskins might be something serious next year. My team, since I've been alive. Has had only four head coaches in fifty-three years. <laughs> they they don't fire head coaches in Pittsburgh no, because they hire the right ones to begin with, and they win. I don't know who was who was there when I was a when I was a baby for four years before Chuck Noll took over. I think Chuck Noll took over in nineteen seventy. So from nineteen seventy to the nineties. And then Cower took over, then Tomlin. That's it. It's like, oh my goodness. I only knew three head coaches my whole life. No, I've known quite a few. Dude, it's like you look at all these other teams that geez, how many head coaches they go through every freaking year. Like, nah, next, next, next. You know, it's even I mean, some of those years were pretty lean for the Steelers. They weren't very good teams back in the 80s. Oh, Lord. They were horrible teams. Uh, Bankman says, go, Pat, go. Go, Pat, go. Yeah, it's like, would you really want to be the head coach of the Green Bay Packers? Oh, to, live up, to, be, to live up to that standard of Vince Lombardi. Oh. Nobody wants to live in Green Bay, man. Yeah. Like, I almost wound up there. Remember, I was supposed to be there instead of here. Oh, Maranya's being nice to Skunk Girl. Yep. How Cause nice. Because you know, Maranya's a sweetie. I keep telling y'all, Maranya's a sweetie. Yep. And yeah. I'm, the bad, I'm the bad guy telling my wife to go buy chips. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, you made the dip. You made the dip. So, I'm, I, you know, that counts for something. Well, my wife bought the ingredients. ingredients. Uh, then, you, then, then, then you're shafted. I was trying to give you a lifeline, but, but I can't believe that Pinkman's gonna go to sleep. Pinkman, Pinkman's a half vampire. We all know that. Right, 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 right. He, he's up crazy hours. Well, you know, he's he's young. I'm like, I need to go to sleep. It's three o'clock in the morning for me. I can imagine what it is for you guys. <laughs> the other night, like, uh, see you guys later. Good night. Yeah, he's all kid, crazy. I gotta get, I gotta stop doing that because I'm gonna go back to work in three days. Ooh, go back Ooh. to work in three days. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm to work in four days. 
So 15 days went fast. Yeah, them four days I took off went fast too. <laughs> Bankman's uh, gonna be 35 soon. Yeah, he's still a baby. I got shoes older than you, Bankman. <laughs> and he's wearing them right now. I don't wear <laughs> shoes at home. I'm up crazy hours too, but when I gotta sleep, I gotta sleep. <laughs> Dude, <coughs> last night, seriously, Skunk Girl was kind of miffed with me because I was still up at four in the morning playing that stupid video game, and she's waking up to go to work. <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'm just going to set my alarm clock for nine o'clock and get five hours sleep, and I'm good to go. And that's what I did. Yeah. Five hours is all I need. Not me. I need about eight. Oh, man. If I do eight, I get tired the whole day. I don't want to do anything else. Yeah, you... Well, people that oversleep, they, they do stay tired. Yeah. You got to find you gotta find the right amount of hours for you. For me, it's eight. I go to sleep. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I go to sleep. I wake up eight hours later exactly. Like, boom. Like clockwork. Think been saying I gotta change those shoes. They're good leather boots. I do not want to get rid of them. They're freaking amazing. That was back in the day when they made really, really good freaking shoes. Yeah. I buy shoes nowadays and it don't even last me a year. No, oh, it's weird. Oh Bigman said he was the last one in the hangout this morning. Everyone bailed. I, I think I was the first one to bail. I bailed. I bailed at twelve o'clock my time, so I can imagine what time he he bailed. I don't know, bro. I think he's five five hours ahead of me. No, <laughs> she five, says five or she four. Says what? She said what? What live stream? She was the last one on the live on the New Year's Eve live stream. <laughs> oh, like uh, hangouts. I don't know. I wasn't doing much of anything else. Uh, we we, we got we got a hangout that we hang out every night, and we just. We just listen to people talk, and I, I'm I'm usually muted, and I'm just playing guitar, listening to it. It's it's like talk radio. Uh, <laughs> They're talking, and I'm I'm not saying anything. That's it's the, it's the usual it. suspects. It's the yeah. usual suspects. I feel you. I feel you, my brother. I feel you. I feel you. I don't do hangouts very often anymore. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I just go in there and they kind of complain to me sometimes too that I don't say nothing. I'm like, you guys don't want to hear me play my horrible guitar? Come on. <laughs> he's, 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 Bankman is dumb. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Lord. You better watch out. People might use that. They're going to, screenshot that and go oh he's war campaign i am not i i don't take no sides you guys know that i've been on everybody's show so, yeah it says manny is the secret leader i believe that i believe manny being the secret leader i am the dog star i am a dog star i'm the leader of the dog stars which is an affiliation group of the digital bullpen they're pretty much yeah. interchangeable. Yep. Same people. Open, dog stars, you know, Lassie Blasi yeah. Blas, same, same jazz. Yeah. Okay. It's the only campaign we do. Hail Manny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny, Vinkman. That's right. Dude, what, what was the show that I was on with Vinkman? Was it your show? No, no, it was Tank Show. Probably me and Vakeman were on Tank Show. Tank left. Me and Vakeman are on there like, what are we going to talk about? And we start talking about the Hall of Fame, why we don't like the Hall of Fame, <laughs> the Music Hall of Fame, the oh, Rock yeah. and Roll Hall of Fame. It was hilarious. Like me, me and Vakeman, we can we can eat up the dead space. <laughs> That's for sure. Just like ERTs. ERTs, there's no such thing as dead space. Uh, it's, it's happened. This happened, you know, but yeah, for only like when 
<laughs> but you know, usually when I don't talk is when people are in the, like a deep conversation, doing what they're doing. So I don't want to interrupt the flow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So I just kind of chill. You know, kick back, let them, let them, let them do their thing. You know. Well, that, that's what happened on my last <laughs> show that I did, the Aloha Dingo Hour. Mm-hmm. Vinkman and Risey was on a roll, and I was just like, I'm just here. <laughs> I'm for the ride. That's all I'm doing. It's like yeah. uh, the Aloha guy just went away. <laughs> the, yeah, dude the doctor is talking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I normally do. You know, if 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 uh, nobody's doing anything, I'll try to carry as much as I can. You know, and then when people start talking, you know, um, like Josh was talking about The Witcher, and and I just you know let him let him let him have the floor. You know, I, I did not watch The Witcher. It's okay. it's okay. Every time I hear the Witcher, I think of the Wicker Man. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> which I have not seen either. The only thing I've seen is that horrible, horrible, what you call it, that horrible scene where they pour the bees into the thing, into the right. helmet, and he's yelling, "No, not the bees!" Uh, if somebody's going to pour bees into your head, shut your mouth, shut your eyes, and just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> And nothing will happen to you. Seriously. If you stay super still, the bees ain't gonna do nothing to you. you know? So when you start being agitated, that's when bees attack you. Stupid scene. Oh no, not the bees. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bankman <laughs> and Josh singing singing the song from the Witcher. <laughs> oh, Valley of Plenty. <laughs> it's one of the songs the bard sings. <laughs> um, was it a real song? Did they actually sing? He actually sang it, yeah. Cool. Yeah, he actually you, sang. Guys, you guys ever saw the original Spartacus? Yeah. When when uh when Tony Curtis is gonna sing a song, I'll sing a song. And he's not singing. He's just talking. <laughs> I was like, oh, when is he going to start singing? <laughs> Sing us his song, Antonite. And he, and he starts to give a speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. It's, it's wow. a good, I mean, it, it's a Hollywood 50s movie, but it's freaking awesome. I still like it. It's, it's not like the miniseries Spartacus, that's for sure. And you got somebody working hard out there being a moderator. He's giving KG a run for his money. Check that out, what Cross Comics is doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cross Comics is doing big things. He came back. I actually gave him the mod link because uh, so he could uh, shield for himself because I think he's, uh, his campaign is opening up on Tuesday or something like that. Oh. So I just gave him, the, gave him the hammer and said, hey, man, you know, shield for yourself and put the links out. Woo-hoo. Just for Mariah, <laughs> you know. That way, uh, you know, I, w- I don't want anybody to feel like <coughs> I don't give them no love, no support. You know what I mean? This is weird. That's weird that you that you went dark. Yeah. <laughs> what the you hell? Went, you went dark. It's showing up in the, the private stream yards, but on, on live, it's not showing anything. Oh, no. Uh, let me add you. There you go. There you go. Got to get this. Oh. I took you out and brought you back in. And I think, it, I don't know if I had anything to do with it, to be honest with you, but hey, you know. There we go. <laughs> Super Nanny. Super Santa. <laughs> Hey, look in the camera, Moranya. She likes to see you, doggo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta give. Uh... You bring some class to the live stream. Boom! Yeah. There you go. We we gonna give them full screen, so Moranya <laughs> can enjoy it. <laughs> this is the clone of Manny. Really, the Manny is Manny. other Manny. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there goes the dog for Marania. Who? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
and she likes to borrow. <laughs> That's what they so, do, man. Yeah, they are. I mean, Chihuahuas are known to be bor borrowers. Mm -hmm. They like mm -hmm. to like. She likes to go underneath blankets and under pillows, and it's hot, and she still wants to be under something. <laughs> Why do you do that, doggy? Hey, look, man. It's my nature. It's my nature. And right. there she goes. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, little doggy. It's in her nature, man. It's her nature. Yeah. Oh, come here, because my other dog is no longer with us. The big one? Yeah. What happened? Uh, he's passed away. Oh, no. He was an old dog. You're an old dog. Uh, no, I'm pretty, pretty young for a dog. You're an old dog. <laughs> uh, well, if I'm an old dog, you're right behind me, buddy. I'm right behind you, man. But should we be worried about you? Oh man, I'm so sorry. Yeah, the dog had a full life. I mean, he was. I'm. I'm thinking he was 12 or 13 years old. He was. He was a. He was a big dog, so he was good. I'm yeah. just, just worried about you because I know you, you're an old dog as well. And okay. I, don't want, I don't want anything to happen to many licious, man. Well, that's my whole that's the whole reason why I'm like, why am I playing video games? I need to do stuff. Life is short. Life is short. You know, life is super short. Uh, get my get my other comic book out next year. Oh yeah, year after that year after that. But first, I need to do my my Mustang, my sixty Mustang and my sixty five Mustang. I need to get those up and running. Then I'll get back on Skunk Girl. <sighs> I feel you, buddy. No. That, that's what I was doing before I did this crazy YouTube stuff. I was I was working on cars all the time, you know, working on cars, doing artwork, and then I just put the cars on the side for a year now. I need to get back into it, get that thing up and running, and enjoy it. That's right, bud. And it's it's a car that '68 Mustang. It's not a muscle car it's a it's gonna be a pretty car <laughs> it's gonna be the kind of car that you don't go fast you just cruise around in it and everybody points at it and go oh you got such a beautiful car uh santa must claus owns a mustang must mustangs are made for women <laughs> yes they were <laughs> the original mustang that's what they were made for they were not made for men uh that's why I bought a Camaro. But, but, but Carol Shelby got some Mustangs and then they were made for men. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like the original Mustang was made for mom with a couple kids in the back seat and go get groceries. That's what it was made for. But when Carol Shelby got his fingers on those Mustangs, yeah, they, they were powerful little bastards. <laughs> Dr. Bateman says, yep, Barbie has a Mustang. Oh, yeah. I like that pink Mustang. Dude, I saw there was back in an old Mustang magazine. Somebody painted a 67 Mustang, you know, hot pink with white stripes. That Mustang was stunning. I was like, whoa, that looks awesome. I don't care about the colors. It's, it was a great paint job. It was, it was so badass, you know. And any guy would even want to drive that around. There's no nobody would say, "Oh, well, I'm not going to drive around a pink Mustang." That thing was badass, especially in today's world. Yeah. <laughs> Dodge <laughs> Challenger was is sweeter, says uh, says Doctor Vinkman. Challengers are nice, but if 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 I had to pick one other muscle car, that if you told me money is no option, go get a muscle car. What you want? 1970. Barracuda. Barracuda. <sighs> Which is almost like a Challenger. Come on, they're all this based on the same body. You know, Challenger, Charger, and Barracuda was pretty much all the same platform. But 
it just it was a little bit more rounder the barracuda. You know, I was yeah. I was looking at before I left NC. I was looking at an Oldsmobile four four two. Oh, that's nice too. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, Chevelles. I mean, I am not. I'm not one of those Ford guys that's like, I hate every single Chevy out there. No, I can appreciate all the muscle cars. You know, yeah, that's what like, I do. You know, it's like even the Buick, the Buick uh, GSX. It looked like a Chevelle. It looked like a 442. You know, it's like all, all the same, you know, same platform. They were badass back then. Yeah, the 442, I, I liked. I liked a lot. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you have a rat burger with it, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> have the rat burger. You gotta have the rat burger. Do you see the cows down here? <laughs> I hear you, man. And gotta watch out for Wesley Snipes. <laughs> it's the best tasty rat burger I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, that was a those good are not. Yeah, that was a good. That was a, that was actually a good movie. Oh man, Cross Comics actually does watch this program. He's giving you a ten minute time. Uh, you know. Oh snap! Diddly do. Ten minute warning. <laughs> Ten minute yeah, Cross. warning. Cross is becoming the new KG and Marcus. What the hell? <laughs> well, you know everybody's on vacation, man. So yeah, a KG ain't gonna come back to. Jeez, KG's still on the mainland. He took a trip. Lucky KG. <laughs> yeah, I mean. My my friend, uh, the one that lives in uh, on the other side of Seattle, he's got a Chevelle and a '68 Camaro. Cool. And uh, he told me like he's thinking about selling them. And I was like, put the Chevelle to the side. <laughs> I said, put the Chevelle to the side, man. Let me, let me see what I can. Let me see what I can do when you know. But he's not selling them now. He's like talking about a few years down the road. So what car would you like, Josh? Come on, get in this conversation, Josh. I don't know shit about cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to know anything about cars, but what is your favorite car that you would like to get? What is your dream car? A you DeLorean, know? just to have a DeLorean. They're cheap, you know that? I know they are. Then they're not worth anything. They have no power steering. I mean, they have nothing inside yeah, them. They but, have no power. To, <laughs> but, you know, yeah, if I was to have, you know, just to have in a collection, yeah, it'd be a DeLorean. Cool. I, I can dig that. Yeah. Like I mean, you can have the DeLorean and change the, in, the change all the inner workings out. Yeah. Like my my ultimate car, I could get a mint condition car for less than thirty grand. You know, it's like for for somebody to be that's their dream car, less than thirty grand. Yeah. That's nothing compared to half a million dollars or whatever people wanting Diablos and Ferraris and crap. And I'm like, nah, just give me a nice fastback, nineteen seventies. Or a 1969 fastback like John Wick. Uh, I, I, That's I, a nice one, too. I could dig that. 69, 70, they're pretty much the same body style. It's just a little bit different in the front nose. Other than that, it's the exact same car. And I do prefer the 70s over the 69. But if somebody told me, here, man, here's the keys to a 69 Mustang fastback, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I will <take> it. <laughs> I'm not going to say, oh, it's not a 1970. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I'll take it. And he he drove a 69. And, it, oh, man, when he, he was just doing donuts and stuff in the first movie, I was like, oh, man. Oh, I need some time to myself. <laughs> uh, Next was, thing you know. Skunk girl's pregnant again. Oh Lord, <laughs> uh, dude! When she was when she had my son, I'm like, do you want me to get rid of my Mustang and get a family car? And she went, no. I'm like, oh, she's a keeper. <laughs> well, I got rid of mine for a family car, so I have to say as well, a Firebird. 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 Cool. Yeah. Did you see the? Um, the which Firebird? Firebird? Which Firebird? What years? Uh, see, I'm not good on years, guys. I, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not into that type of stuff. The but... Firebird that looked like a Camaro, or the Firebird that looked like the Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, so I have to see what year my dad's was, and that's that's the one that always. And I don't really know, like, like make a model of stuff with it. I just know he was like one or two parts away from being a Trans Am. And then that, that's a, more like a seventies one then. Yeah. So yeah. he like had, he had a, hazard. 
you had one for a long time. And then, of course, you know, family started getting bigger and stuff. So, you know, there wasn't much room in the back seat for, for growing boys. So <laughs> had to get rid of it. Yeah. Cross Comics 1968 Charger. Yeah. That's cool. I, I, the, the original Vigna. Charger was good, man. I like them too. <laughs> Dr. Vick is like, I have a 62 long bed, three quarter ton red Ford pickup. Well, he lives in the area, but that's what you need. That is, that's a cool, that's a cool truck. That's a super cool truck. My dad had El Camino. Souped up. El Camino is cool. Yeah, he had a El Camino. I had a Nova at one time. See, I, see, I, like this because I, I don't hear nothing in your voice that's saying European cars. You're, you're all American made muscle, which is awesome. I like American muscle, dude. dude man. I, love it. I, I mean, I like going. I used to always go to the, the car shows. The skunk girl doesn't like going to the car shows, so I haven't been to one in a long time. <laughs> going there and hearing and smelling all that burning gasoline is like, oh, get that little turpentine smell. It's been sitting around for a while. <laughs> yeah. No, man, I, I, I love American muscle, dude, man. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm partial to the Camaros, but um, I mean, I like anything. They, like what they're doing nowadays where they um, where they, they took a, a Camaro and turned it into a, a Trans Am and then gave it about 750 uh, horsepower. Whew. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Dude, like, how much? How fast do you need to go, really? I mean, you don't need to go <laughs> fast. You know, here's the thing, right? When you get, take, you know, the thing with, for me, I'm going to speak on myself. Mm -hmm. I just, the V8 rumble is just nice. It doesn't matter if it goes super fast, but just having that V8 rumble, you know what I'm saying? It's a funny thing. Like, okay, so like my brother was the first one to get a Mustang. So he had an 88 Mustang. He had the 5.0s, and they went 225 horsepower, which was a pretty cool, uh, not super fast car, but fast enough. Right. In 2005, I buy my Mustang GT, 300 horsepower, a lot faster. And I'm like, cool, this is this is pretty cool. I love this. And then so many years later, I got the 14 because somebody hit my 05. And then the 14 is a freaking beast. 420 horsepower. I was like, what do I need that for? <laughs> the, 300, you know. the 300 horsepower was good enough. The 420 is just ridiculous. Yeah, the 400, that's what the Camaro has, 435. And it's, woo, woo, it's nice. But for me, it was more about the rumble. Like, it's nothing like the rumble of a V8, just, you know, and, oh. and it, it has like, a, you know, the muscles cars have like a little misfire. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just so cool. I, I mean, need, that's what that's what I, need, I like them. I mean, I need to make a video of my '65 Mustang because when I start that up, when I crank it, everybody looks at me and go, "What the hell do you have in that damn Mustang?" <laughs> I have a small block Ford. It's a 289, but it is a wicked beast. <laughs> it, it, it ain't pumping out no 200 horsepower. <laughs> that thing is just crazy. What what my uncle put in there. Uh, you got a wild cam and it just loops. It's like, what the hell? It sounds like a big block when it's just a small little block. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. It, and Mustangs do have a better better tone than like any other uh, muscle cars. I'll give Mustangs that. Like, like they sound beefier. Well, the original ones. I, I, I really don't like the newer Mustangs. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, you can get a good classic sound with the with the Flowmasters. If you just get Flowmasters, like my, six, my 2005 used to have flow masters on them and you could hear that a block away oh lord that 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 rumble is like oh my goodness my my 14 is super quiet, <laughs> quiet. yeah well anyway ladies and gentlemen before before the wife come in here and give me side eyes <laughs> <laughs> josh man give yourself an outro brother <laughs> i'm josh chris art you can find me on youtube instagram twitter facebook all at josh chris art and starting again, hopefully I can start streaming some more, even without the guys here on the digital bullpen. Awesome, man. We'll try to give you some love and support. Good talk, Press. Yeah, thank you for having me on here, and thank you for having the half hour of talking about cars with ERTs and Manny. 
<laughs> Look, there's a lot to talk about, man. You know, and it, I, we could do two hours of this. I'd just be talking about my cars. You talking about your cars? That'd be freaking awesome. It would uh, be, man. It would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys can find me on Good Dog Press. I know I haven't been around for a while, but I'll be back. I am coming back, people. I just had to take a little break. Had to take a little break. It was just going too crazy. You know, get my get my little life together, my home's life, and I'll be back drawing and talking and having fun and you can get me on twitter good dog press and instagram the unbreathable skunk girl thank you guys and awesome that's awesome. and of course this is your tease and you can find me at colorblind underscore e on twitter your tease arts on facebook and instagram and here on youtube i hope everybody has a good evening god bless and good night Aloha. bye bye <laughs>